Norwegian Norsk is a North Germanic language spoken mainly in Norway, where it is the official language. Along with Swedish and Danish, Norwegian forms a dialect continuum of more or less mutually intelligible local and regional varieties, and some Norwegian and Swedish dialects, in particular, are very close. These Scandinavian languages, together with Faroese and Icelandic as well as some extinct languages, constitute the North Germanic languages. Faroese and Icelandic are hardly mutually intelligible with Norwegian in their spoken form because continental Scandinavian has diverged from them. While the two Germanic languages with the greatest numbers of speakers, English and German, have close similarities with Norwegian, neither is mutually intelligible with it. There are two official forms of written Norwegian, Bokmal literally, book tongue, and Nynorsk, New Norwegian, each with its own variants. Norwegian is one of the two official languages in Norway. The other is Sami, spoken by some members of the Sami people, mostly in the northern part of Norway. Norwegian and Sami are not mutually intelligible, as Sami belongs to the Finno-Ugric group of languages. Sami is spoken by less than 1% of people in Norway. Norwegian is one of the working languages of the Nordic Council. Under the Nordic Language Convention, citizens of the Nordic countries who speak Norwegian have the opportunity to use their native language when interacting with official bodies in other Nordic countries without being liable to any interpretation or translation costs. History Origins <inaudible> 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 Like most of the languages in Europe, the Norwegian language descends from the Proto-Indo-European language spoken about 5,500 years ago on the Pontic Caspian steppe north of the Black Sea. As early Indo-Europeans spread across Europe, they became isolated and new languages evolved. In the northwest of Europe, the West Germanic languages evolved, which would eventually become English, Dutch, German, and the North Germanic languages, of which Norwegian is one. Proto-Norse is thought to have evolved as a northern dialect of Proto-Germanic during the 1st centuries AD. It is the earliest stage of a characteristically North Germanic language, and the language attested in the Elder Futhark inscriptions, the oldest form of the runic alphabets. A number of inscriptions are memorials to the dead, while others are magical in content. The oldest are carved on loose objects, while later ones are chiseled in runestones. They are the oldest written record of any Germanic language. Around 800 AD, the script was simplified to the younger Futhark, and inscriptions became more abundant. At the same time, the beginning of the Viking Age led to the spread of Old Norse to Iceland, Greenland, and the Faroe Islands. Viking colonies also existed in parts of the British Isles, France, Normandy, and Russia. In all of these places except Iceland and the Faroes, Old Norse speakers went extinct or were absorbed into the local population. Topic. The Roman alphabet Around 1030, Christianity came to Scandinavia, bringing with it an influx of Latin borrowings and the Roman alphabet. These new words were related to church practices and ceremonies, although many other loanwords related to general culture also entered the language. The Scandinavian languages at this time are not considered to be separate languages, although there were minor differences among what are customarily called Old Icelandic, Old Norwegian, Old Gutnish, Old Danish, and Old Swedish. Topic: <laughs> Low German influence. The economic and political dominance of the Hanseatic League between 1250 and 1450 in the main Scandinavian cities brought large middle low German-speaking populations to Norway. The influence of their language on Scandinavian is similar to that of French on English after the Norman conquest. <laughs> Dano-Norwegian In the late Middle Ages, dialects began to develop in Scandinavia because the population was rural and little travel occurred. When the Reformation came from Germany, Martin Luther's High German translation of the Bible was quickly translated into Swedish, Danish, and Icelandic. Norway entered a union with Denmark in 1397. Danish was the language of the elite, the church, literature, and the law. When the union with Denmark ended in 1814, the Dano-Norwegian Koine had become the mother tongue of many Norwegians. <laughs> Danish to Norwegian 
From the 1840s, some writers experimented with a Norwegianized Danish by incorporating words that were descriptive of Norwegian scenery and folk life, and adopting a more Norwegian syntax. Knud Knudsen proposed to change spelling and inflection in accordance with the Dano Norwegian koine, known as cultivated everyday speech. A small adjustment in this direction was implemented in the first official reform of the Danish language in Norway in 1862 and more extensively after his death in two official reforms in 1907 and 1917. Meanwhile, a nationalistic movement strove for the development of a new written Norwegian. Ivar Asen, a botanist and self-taught linguist, began his work to create a new Norwegian language at the age of 22. He travelled around the country collecting words and examples of grammar from the dialects and comparing the dialects among the different regions. He examined the development of Icelandic, which had largely escaped the influences under which Norwegian had come. He called his work, which was published in several books from 1848 to 1873, Landsmål, meaning, national language. The name, Landsmål, is sometimes interpreted as, rural language, or, country language. But this was clearly not Asen's intended meaning. The name of the Danish language in Norway was a topic of hot dispute through the 19th century. Its proponents claimed that it was a language common to Norway and Denmark, and no more Danish than Norwegian. The proponents of Landsmål thought that the Danish character of the language should not be concealed. In 1899, Bjornstjern Bjornsson proposed the neutral name Riksmål, meaning national language like Landsmål, and this was officially adopted along with the 1907 spelling reform. The name, Riksmål, is sometimes interpreted as, state language, but this meaning is secondary at best, compared to Danish Riksmål from where the name was borrowed. After the personal union with Sweden was dissolved in 1905, both languages were developed further and reached what is now considered their classic forms after a reform in 1917. Riksmål was in 1929 officially renamed Bokmål literally, book language, and Landsmål to Nynorsk literally, new Norwegian. A proposition to substitute Danish-Norwegian for Bokmål lost in Parliament by a single vote. The name Nynorsk, the linguistic term for modern Norwegian, was chosen to contrast with Danish and emphasis on the historical connection to Old Norwegian. Today, this meaning is often lost, and it is commonly mistaken as a new Norwegian in contrast to the real Norwegian Bokmål. Bokmål and Nynorsk were made closer by a reform in 1938. This was a result of a state policy to merge Nynorsk and Bokmål into a single language, to be called Samnorsk. A 1946 poll showed that this policy was supported by 79% of Norwegians at the time. However, opponents of the official policy still managed to create a massive protest movement against Samnorsk in the 1950s, fighting in particular the use of radical forms in Bokmal textbooks in schools. In the reform in 1959, the 1938 reform was partially reversed in Bokmal, but Nynorsk was changed further towards Bokmal. Since then Bokmal has reverted even further toward traditional Riksmal, while Nynorsk still adheres to the 1959 standard. Therefore, a small minority of Nynorsk enthusiasts use a more conservative standard called Hognorsk. The Samnorsk policy had little influence after 1960, and was officially abandoned in 2002. <laughs> Phonology While the sound systems of Norwegian and Swedish are similar, considerable variation exists among the dialects. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Consonants. The retroflex consonants only appear in East Norwegian dialects as a result of sandy combining with d, l, n, s, and t. The realization of the rhotic depends on the dialect. In Eastern, Central, and Northern Norwegian dialects, it is a tap, whereas in Western and Southern Norway, and for some speakers also in Eastern Norway, it is rendered more gutturally as kai or and in the dialects of Northwestern Norway, it is realized as r, much like the trilled r of Spanish. Vowels Accent <inaudible> 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 Norwegian is a pitch accent language with two distinct pitch patterns, like Swedish. They are used to differentiate two-syllable words with otherwise identical pronunciation. 
For example, in many East Norwegian dialects, the word bonder farmers is pronounced using tone 1, while bonner beans or prayers uses tone 2. Though spelling differences occasionally differentiate written words, in most cases the minimal pairs are written alike, since written Norwegian has no explicit accent marks. In most Eastern low tone dialects, accent 1 uses a low flat pitch in the first syllable, while accent 2 uses a high, sharply falling pitch in the first syllable and a low pitch in the beginning of the second syllable. In both accents, these pitch movements are followed by a rise of intonational nature phrase accent the size and presence of which signals emphasis or focus, and corresponds in function to the normal accent in languages that lack lexical tone, such as English. That rise culminates in the final syllable of an accentual phrase, while the utterance final fall common in most languages is either very small or absent. There are significant variations in pitch accent between dialects. Thus, in most of Western and Northern Norway the so-called high-pitch dialects accent 1 is falling, while accent 2 is rising in the first syllable and falling in the second syllable or somewhere around the syllable boundary. The pitch accents as well as the peculiar phrase accent in the low-tone dialects give the Norwegian language a singing quality that makes it easy to distinguish from other languages. Accent 1 generally occurs in words that were monosyllabic in Old Norse, and accent 2 in words that were polysyllabic. Topic. Written language Topic. Alphabet The Norwegian alphabet has 29 letters. The letters C, Q, W, X and Z are only used in loanwords. As loanwords are assimilated into Norwegian, their spelling might change to reflect Norwegian pronunciation and the principles of Norwegian orthography, e.g. zebra in Norwegian is written zebra. Due to historical reasons, some otherwise Norwegian family names are also written using these letters. Some letters may be modified by diacritics, A, E, E, O, O, and O. In Nynorsk, I and U and Y are occasionally seen as well. The diacritics are not compulsory, but may in a few cases distinguish between different meanings of the word, e.g., for, for, to, for, went, for, furrow, and for, fodder. Loanwords may be spelled with other diacritics, most notably U, A and A. Bakhmal and Nynorsk As established by law and government policy, the two official forms of written Norwegian are Bakhmal literally, book tongue, and Nynorsk, New Norwegian. The official Norwegian Language Council is responsible for regulating the two forms, and recommends the terms. Norwegian Bakhmal and Norwegian Nynorsk in English. Two other written forms without official status also exist, one, called Riksmal, national language, is today to a large extent the same language as Bakhmal though somewhat closer to the Danish language. It is regulated by the unofficial Norwegian Academy, which translates the name as Standard Norwegian. The other is Hognorsk, High Norwegian. A more purist form of Nynorsk, which maintains the language in an original form as given by Ivar Asin and rejects most of the reforms from the 20th century, this form has limited use. Nynorsk and Bakhmal provide standards for how to write Norwegian, but not for how to speak the language. No standard of spoken Norwegian is officially sanctioned, and most Norwegians speak their own dialects in all circumstances. Thus, unlike in many other countries, the use of any Norwegian dialect, whether it coincides with the written norms or not, is accepted as correct spoken Norwegian. However, in areas where East Norwegian dialects are used, a tendency exists to accept a de facto spoken standard for this particular regional dialect, urban East Norwegian or standard East Norwegian Norwegian, standard Ostnorsk, in which the vocabulary coincides with Bakhmal. Outside Eastern Norway, this spoken variation is not used. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, Danish was the standard written language of Norway. As a result, the development of modern written Norwegian has been subject to strong controversy related to nationalism, rural versus urban discourse, and Norway's literary history. Historically, Bakhmal is a Norwegianized variety of Danish, while Nynorsk is a language form based on Norwegian dialects and puristic opposition to Danish. The now abandoned official policy to merge Bakhmal and Nynorsk into one common language called Samnorsk through a series of spelling reforms has created a wide spectrum of varieties of both Bakhmal and Nynorsk. 
The unofficial form known as Riksmal is considered more conservative than Bakmal and is far closer to Danish while the unofficial Hognorsk is more conservative than Nynorsk and is far closer to Faroese, Icelandic and Old Norse. Norwegians are educated in both Bakmal and Nynorsk. The language form that is not registered as the main language form of a Norwegian student will be a mandatory school subject in both high school and elementary school for the student, which is called Sittamal. For instance, a Norwegian with Bakmal as its main language form has Nynorsk as a mandatory school subject throughout both high school and elementary school. A 2005 poll indicates that 86.3% use primarily Bakmal as their daily written language, 5.5% use both Bakmal and Nynorsk, and 7.5% use primarily Nynorsk. Thus, 13% are frequently writing Nynorsk, though the majority speak dialects that resemble Nynorsk more closely than Bakmal. Broadly speaking, Nynorsk writing is widespread in western Norway, though not in major urban areas, and also in the upper parts of mountain valleys in the southern and eastern parts of Norway. Examples are Setesdal, the western part of Telemark County and several municipalities in Hallingdal, Valdres, and Gudbrandsdalen. It is little used elsewhere, but 30 to 40 years ago, it also had strongholds in many rural parts of Trondelag -Norway and the southern part of northern Norway Nordland County. Today, not only is Nynorsk the official language of four of the 19 Norwegian counties, but also of many municipalities in five other counties. NRK, the Norwegian Broadcasting Corporation, broadcasts in both Bakmal and Nynorsk, and all governmental agencies are required to support both written languages. Bakmal is used in 92% of all written publications, and Nynorsk in 8% 2000. Like some other European countries, Norway has an official advisory board. Sprakredet Norwegian Language Council that determines after approval from the Ministry of Culture official spelling grammar and vocabulary for the Norwegian language the board's work has been subject to considerable controversy throughout the years both Nynorsk and Bakmal have a great variety of optional forms the Bakmal that uses the forms that are close to Riksmal is called moderate or conservative depending on one's viewpoint while the Bakmal that uses the forms that are close to Nynorsk is called radical Nynorsk has forms that are close to the original Landsmal and forms that are close to Bakmal. Riksmal Opponents of the spelling reforms aimed at bringing Bakmal closer to Nynorsk have retained the name Riksmal and employ spelling and grammar that predate the Samnorsk movement. Riksmal and conservative versions of Bakmal have been the de facto standard written language of Norway for most of the 20th century, being used by large newspapers, encyclopedias, and a significant proportion of the population of the capital Oslo, surrounding areas, and other urban areas, as well as much of the literary tradition. Since the reforms of 1981 and 2003 effective in 2005, the official Bakmal can be adapted to be almost identical with modern Riksmal. The differences between written Riksmal and Bakmal are comparable to American and British English differences. Riksmal is regulated by the Norwegian Academy, which determines acceptable spelling, grammar, and vocabulary. Hognorsk There is also an unofficial form of Nynorsk, called Hognorsk, discarding the post-1917 reforms, and thus close to Ivar Asen's original landsmal. It is supported by Ivar Asen Sambande, but has found no widespread use. Topic. Current usage In 2010 86.5% of the pupils in the primary and lower secondary schools in Norway receive education in Bakmal, while 13.0% receive education in Nynorsk. From the 8th grade onwards pupils are required to learn both. Out of the 431 municipalities in Norway, 161 have declared that they wish to communicate with the central authorities in Bakmal, 116 representing 12% of the population in Nynorsk, while 156 are neutral. Of 4,549 state publications in 2000 8% were in Nynorsk, and 92% in Bakmal. The large national newspapers Aftenposten, Dagbladet, and VG are published in Bakmal or Riksmal. Some major regional newspapers including Bergens Tidende and Stavanger Aftenblad, many political journals, and many local newspapers use both Bakmal and Nynorsk. 
A newer trend is to write in dialect for informal use. When writing an SMS, Facebook update, or fridge note, most younger people write the way they talk rather than using Bakhmal or Nynorsk. Dialects There is general agreement that a wide range of differences makes it difficult to estimate the number of different Norwegian dialects. Variations in grammar, syntax, vocabulary, and pronunciation cut across geographical boundaries and can create a distinct dialect at the level of farm clusters. Dialects are in some cases so dissimilar as to be unintelligible to unfamiliar listeners. Many linguists note a trend toward regionalization of dialects that diminishes the differences at such local levels. There is, however, a renewed interest in preserving distinct dialects. Topic: <laughs> Examples. Below are a few sentences giving an indication of the differences between Bakmal and Nynorsk, compared to the conservative closer to Danish form Riksmal, Danish, as well as Old Norse, Swedish, Faroese, Icelandic the living language grammatically closest to Old Norse, Old English and some modern West Germanic languages. <laughs> Morphology Nouns <laughs> 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 Norwegian nouns are inflected for number singular, plural, and declined for definiteness indefinite, definite, and case nominative, genitive. In some dialects, definite nouns are also in the dative. Norwegian nouns belong to three noun classes, masculine, feminine and neuter. Adjectives and determiners agree in gender with the noun they modify. Riksmal and conservative Bakmal traditionally have two genders like Danish, but Nynorsk and most speakers of Norwegian regional dialects use three genders to different extents. The inflection of feminine words like genta using morphemes from the masculine noun class is common in the Bergen and Oslo areas. However, feminine noun class morphology tends to be restricted in most eastern and northern dialects to the uses of the definite article. In general, almost all nouns in Bakmal follow these patterns like the words in the examples above. In contrast, almost all nouns in Nynorsk follow these patterns the noun gender system is more pronounced than in Bakmal. Unlike in Bakmal, in Nynorsk feminine nouns cannot be inflected using masculine noun class morphology. Feminine nouns must be written using the prescribed inflection patterns. There is no way in general to infer what gender a specific noun has, but there are some patterns of nouns where the gender can be inferred. For instance, all nouns ending in nad will be masculine in both Bakmal and Nynorsk for instance the noun joboknad, which means job application. Most nouns ending in ing will be feminine, like the noun forventing expectation. There are some common irregular nouns, many of which are irregular in both Bakmal and Nynorsk, like the following. In Nynorsk, even though the irregular word fought is masculine, it is inflected like a feminine word in the plural. Another word with the same irregular inflection is son, soner, son, sons. In Nynorsk, nouns ending in ing typically have masculine plural inflections, like the word drawing in the following table. But they are treated as feminine nouns in every other way. Topic. Genitive of nouns in general, the genitive case has died out in modern Norwegian and there are only some remnants of it in certain expressions, till f gels to the mountains, till shows to the sea. To show ownership, there is an enclitic s similar to English s, Sondra's flop bill, Sondra's nice car, Sondra being a personal name. There are also reflexive possessive pronouns, sin, see, sit, sign, det or Sondra sit, it is Sondra's. In both Bakmal and modern Nynorsk, there is often a mix of both of these to mark possession, though it is more common in Nynorsk to use the reflexive pronouns. In Nynorsk use of the reflexive possessive pronouns is generally encouraged to avoid mixing the enclitic s with the historical grammatical case remnants of the language. The reflexive pronouns agree in gender and number with the noun. The enclitic s in Norwegian evolved as a shorthand expression for the possessive pronoun sin, see, sit and sign. Topic. Adjectives Norwegian adjectives inflect for gender, number, definiteness and for comparison positive, comparative, superlative. Most adjectives in all Norwegian dialects and written forms follow the pattern below. 
In most dialects, some verb participles used as adjectives have a separate form in both definite and plural uses, and sometimes also in the masculine feminine singular. N Saint Jalé, Saint Jalen Bill, a stolen car. Den Saint Jalen Bilen, that stolen car. Saint Jalen Biler or et stort problem, stolen cars are a big issue. In some southwestern dialects, the definite adjective is also declined in gender and number with one form for feminine and plural, and one form for masculine and neuter. In Norwegian, a definite noun has a suffixed article cf. Above. However, when a definitive noun is preceded by an adjective or a numeral, an additional definite article is placed in front of the adjective in the beginning of the noun phrase, so that definiteness is marked twice since the adjective is inflected as definite as well. In Bachmal, though, the suffix noun article may be dropped in formal or literary styles. Definiteness is also signaled by using possessive pronouns or any uses of a noun in its genitive form in either Nynorsk or Bachmal, mit gran hus, my green house, min gran bill, my green car, mit tilbaketrukni tankit, my pulled gums, presidentens gamla hus, the president's old house, examples of comparative and superlative inflections in Bachmal. Et viter hus, a whiter house. Den graneste bilan, the greenest car. Viter hus, whiter house. Granest bill, greenest car. Topic: <inaudible> Predicative agreement. In all dialects of Norwegian and in the written languages, unlike related languages like German, there is also predicative agreement of adjectives. This means that nouns will have to agree with the adjective when there is a copula verb involved, like in Bachmal, vire to be, bli become, esser ut looks like, kj enis feels like, etc. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Verbs. Norwegian finite verbs are inflected or conjugated according to mood, indicative, imperative, subjunctive. The subjunctive mood is constrained to only a handful of verbs. Indicative verbs are conjugated for tense, present, past, future. The infinitive, present and past tense also have a passive form. In a few dialects, indicative verbs are also conjugated according to number. Agreement with person is lost in Norwegian. There are four non-finite verb forms, infinitive, passive infinitive, and the two participles perfective, past participle and imperfective, present participle. The participles are verbal adjectives. The imperfective participle is not declined, whereas the perfect participle is declined for gender though not in Bachmal, and number like strong, positive adjectives. The definite form of the participle is identical to the plural form. As with other Germanic languages, Norwegian verbs can be either weak or strong. Topic: <inaudible> Ergative verbs. There are ergative verbs in both Bachmal and Nynorsk, where there is two different conjugation patterns depending on if the verb takes an object or not. In Bachmal, there are only two different conjugations for the preterite tense for the strong verbs, while Nynorsk has different conjugations for all tenses, like Swedish and a majority of Norwegian dialects. Some weak verbs are also ergative and are differentiated for all tenses in both Bachmal and Nynorsk, like liga, leg, that both means to lie down, but liga does not take an object while leg requires an object. Leg corresponds to the English verb lay, while liga corresponds to the English verb lie. There are however many verbs that do not have this direct translation to English verbs. Topic. Pronouns Norwegian personal pronouns are declined according to case, nominative, accusative. Like English, pronouns in Bachmal and Nynorsk are the only class that has case declension. Some of the dialects that have preserved the dative in nouns, also have a dative case instead of the accusative case in personal pronouns, while others have accusative in pronouns and dative in nouns, effectively giving these dialects three distinct cases. In the most comprehensive Norwegian grammar, Norsk referansagrammatik, the categorization of personal pronouns by person, gender, and number is not regarded as inflection. Pronouns are a closed class. The words for mine, yours, etc. are dependent on the gender of the noun it describes. Just like adjectives, they have to agree in gender with the noun. Bachmal has two sets of third-person pronouns. 
Han and Hun refer to male and female individuals respectively, den and det refer to impersonal or inanimate nouns, of masculine, feminine or neutral gender respectively. In contrast, Nynorsk and most dialects use the same set of pronouns hun he, ho, she, and det it for both personal and impersonal references, just like in German. Det also has expletive and cataphoric uses like in the English examples it rains and it was known by everyone that he had traveled the world. Topic. Ordering of possessive pronouns Unlike Swedish and Danish, the ordering of possessive pronouns are a bit more free. When there is no adjective, the most common word order is the one used in the examples in the table above, where the possessive comes after the noun, while the noun is in its definite form, boka mi my book. If one wishes to emphasize the owner of the noun, the possessive pronoun usually come first. In Bachmal however, due to its Danish origins, one could choose to always write the possessive first min bill my car, but this may sound very formal. Some dialects that have been very influenced by Danish do this too, some speakers in Barum and the west of Oslo may always use this word order. When there is an adjective describing the noun, the possessive pronoun will always come first, min egen bill my own car. Topic. Determiners. The closed class of Norwegian determiners are declined in gender and number in agreement with their argument. Not all determiners are inflected. Topic. Particle classes Norwegian has five closed classes without inflection, i.e. lexical categories with grammatical function and a finite number of members that may not be distinguished by morphological criteria. These are interjections, conjunctions, subjunctions, prepositions, and adverbs. The inclusion of adverbs here requires that traditional adverbs that are inflected in comparison be classified as adjectives, as is sometimes done. Topic. Compound words In Norwegian compound words, the head, i.e. the part determining the compound's class, is the last part. If the compound word is constructed from many different nouns, the last noun in the compound noun will determine the gender of the compound noun. Only the first part has primary stress. For instance, the compound tenkatank think tank has primary stress on the first syllable and is a masculine noun since the noun tank is masculine. Compound words are written together in Norwegian, which can cause words to become very long, for example maximum likelihood estimator, and Meniskeritigetsorganisationer human rights organizations. Other examples are the title Hoyesterits Justitiarius Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, originally a combination of Supreme Court and the actual title, Justiciar and the translation and Midsummernatstrom for a Midsummer Night's Dream. If they are not written together, each part is naturally read with primary stress, and the meaning of the compound is lost. Examples of this in English are the difference between a greenhouse and a greenhouse or a blackboard and a blackboard. This is sometimes forgotten, occasionally with humorous results. Instead of writing, for example, lamakateleter lamb chops, people make the mistake of writing lamb kateleter lame, or paralyzed, chops. The original message can even be reversed, as when Roikfrit lit. Smoke free, meaning no smoking, becomes roik frit, smoke freely. Other examples include terrace door, terrace dies, instead of terrasador, terrace door. Tunfisk biter, tuna bites, verb instead of tunfisk biter, tuna bits, noun. Smolt ringer, lard calls, verb instead of smoltringer, donuts. Tiveri secret. Theft guaranteed, instead of tiverisikrit, theft proof. Stekt kyling lever, fried chicken lives, verb instead of stekt kylingelver, fried chicken liver, noun. Smore broad, butter bread, verb instead of smur broad, sandwich. Clip fisk, cut fish, verb instead of clip fisk, clip fish. Pa hit attack it, on cottage the roof. Instead of pa hitetiket, on the cottage roof. Alt for Norge, to Norway. Instead of alt for Norge, everything for Norway. The royal motto of Norway. These misunderstandings occur because most nouns can be interpreted as verbs or other types of words. 
Similar misunderstandings can be achieved in English too. The following are examples of phrases that both in Norwegian and English mean one thing as a compound word, and something different when regarded as separate words. Stavakontroll spellchecker or stave control spellchecker Kokebok cookbook or kokebok cookbook Ekte handlage waffler real handmade waffles or Ekte handlagd waffler real handmade waffles Topic Syntax Norwegian syntax is predominantly SVO with the subject of the sentence coming first, then the verb coming second and finally the object. However, like many other Germanic languages such as Dutch, it has a V2 rule, which means that the finite verb will be placed as the second element within a sentence. No matter what, the finite, conjugated verb will always be the second element of a sentence. E.g. Jeg spiser fisk i dag. I eat fish today. I dag spiser jeg fisk. Today, I eat fish. Jeg vil drikke café i dag. I want to drink coffee today. I dag vil jeg drikke café. Today, I want to drink coffee. Any piece of the sentence could be placed first to highlight its importance, but the finite verb must always follow its subject. Adjectives always precede the noun that they modify. Topic. Vocabulary By far the largest part of the modern vocabulary of Norwegian dates back to Old Norse. The largest source of loanwords is Middle Low German, which had a huge influence on Norwegian vocabulary from the late Middle Ages onwards partially even influencing grammatical structures, such as genitive constructions. Bachmal and many dialects have these loanwords, while Nynorsk is more puristic and has many of these words replaced with words that are derived from Old Norse. Nynorsk thus shares more vocabulary with Icelandic and Faroese. There are Middle Low German vocabulary in Nynorsk too, but to a lesser extent than Bachmal. At present, the main source of new loanwords is English, e.g., wrapper, email, catering, juice, bag, originally a loan word to English from Old Norse. Some loanwords have their spelling change to reflect Norwegian pronunciation rules, but in general Norwegianized spellings of these words tend to take a long time to sink in, e.g. chauffeur from French chauffeur and revan sj from French revanche are now the common Norwegian spellings, but juice is more often used than the Norwegianized form ju, catering more often than ketering, service more often than service, etc. Norwegian has also and continues to borrow words and phrases from both Danish and Swedish to a relatively large extent. And though there are very often related, similar or identical sounding words in those languages, the spelling in Norwegian is often less conservative and, arguably, closer to the pronunciation, and thus different from the others, and four of the letters most shunned in Norwegian in comparison to the other Scandinavian languages are C, D, J, and X. Norwegian hey is H-E-J in Swedish and Danish, the words sex and six. Are sex and sex in Norwegian, but in Swedish they are both sex. Danish words ending in tion end in sjon to reflect pronunciation, and many traditional Danish spellings with d preceded by another consonant are changed to double consonants, such as in the Danish for water, vand, versus Norwegian, bakmal, spelling van, but sand is spelled sand in both languages. Norwegian was standardized this way because in some dialects a d was pronounced in sand, whereas Norwegian speakers pronounced van without a D. Sound, the word for water in Nynorsk is VATN. See also Differences between the Norwegian and Danish languages Noregs Malig Norsk Ordbok Det Norske Akademi for Sprog og Literatur Riksmålsforbundet Russinorsk Tone Linguistics Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Philip Holmes, Hans Olav Enger, Norwegian. A Comprehensive Grammar, Routledge, Abingdon, 2018, ISBN 978 0 415 9 Olav T. Bido, Nynorsk Grammatic. 
Lied og Ordlaer, Det Norske Samlage, Oslo 1986, ISBN 82-521-2801-7 Jan Tarje Farland, Svein Lai, Kjell Ivar Vanbo, Norsk Referansegrammatik, Universitetsforlaget, Oslo 1997, 2002 3rd edition, ISBN 82-00-22569-0 Bachmel and Nynorsk Rolf Thiel Endresen, Hannah Graham Simonson, Andreas Sveen, Inferring i Lingvistik 2002, ISBN 82-00-45273-5 Arne Torp, Lars S. Viker 1993, Hovudrag i Norsk Sprahistori 3.ut Avenue, Geildendel Norsk Forlag as 2003 Lars S. Viker 2015, Norwegian, Bakmal vs. Nynorsk, on Sprakradat's website the Norwegian Language Council 1994, language usage in Norway's civil service, in English Topic. External links Ordboka, online dictionary search, both Bokmal and Nynorsk. Norwegian phrasebook travel guide from Wikivoyage Fisk, Willard 1879. Norway, language and literature of the American Cyclopedia. Norwegian as a normal language, in English, at Sprakradet.